Okay, I'll just show you how to set the sat nav in this um, 2016 BMW 4 Series. So from any screen, you've got your iDrive here, and you've got media, menu, map, and nav. If you just want map, which I drive quite a lot of the time, with that on, just so as I can see any bends coming up if I'm unfamiliar with the road, uh, but you've got nav there. So if you click on nav, quick search, home address, recent destinations, address input. So it's given me the options there. You can either say address, which would be the easy way, or input it. So I'll show you how to input it. Uh, here we go. You've got United Kingdom, town, and the road. So if I go to where that's, this should be city or postcode, and again, I, I can voice input, but quite often it doesn't recognize my voice at all and it always gets it wrong so I prefer to do it uh, with Grosvenor Garage, Chorley Road, Watmerdale, Preston, PR. Um, now we need to get to numbers. Uh, there's nothing around the outside but if you get it to there where it says more characters, more characters, click and then it comes to numbers. So five, four, it defaults back to letters Grosvenor Garage, Chorley Road, Wantleydale, Preston, PR54JS. The rotary control is easier to use. And then it's got OK in the middle, so we click OK. It's asking me for a street, but I don't really want to do that. Or I can just start route guidance. Click on start route guidance. PR54JS, Wantleydale. Click on that. Start route guidance again. I'm going to tell it twice. The road for one mile. But well, that's it, and it's a great screen, the, the wide screen. I think also, let me just see, if I knock it over to the side, yeah, if, if I knock it over to the side there, you can have it on split screen, and it's telling you your next turn. If I click on there, hang on, let me just do that again, back. Click across there. By scrolling this, you can have position, arrow view, the sat nav again let's just go split screen we'll select split screen and we can just change it 